Okay, um, so today I'm doing something different. I was going to try out some tie-dye, and I got these really cool tie-dye kits from Michaels with their clearance. They had them for $7.50, normally $24.99. Now, these um, have more colors than this box right here, but it says it makes 36 projects. And then they had these two-minute tie-dye kits. They were $3.00. Um, you're supposed to put these in the microwave. Um, I was reading the instructions on that. It's a little bit different. I'm going to use the containers, but I'm not going to go ahead and use um, the microwave for this project. Um, really curious to see how everything comes out. But yeah, these are these little containers, and you're supposed to put your project in here and microwave it. Um, I'm still going to use the containers, but like I said, I am not going to... Um, I'm not going to microwave it, but uh, I got my t-shirts, I got a few other items, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so I am going to try something a little different. I don't like to do things normal for the most part, so I'm going to try by folding this into little pleats. And I'm going to start with the sleeves. And I'm going to work my way down the sleeve. And then after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and continue to pleat it. Now, I thought maybe if I did it this way, I would get like some type of like stripey type of effect to it. So we're going to see it's either going to turn out to be a huge mess, something really gorgeous, or just one great big beautiful disaster so how it turns out who knows so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this <clears throat> I'm having second thoughts but I'm gonna go ahead because I started it this way now the kit comes with a bunch of different colors uh, it looks like one of the dies that kind of leaked it comes with some rubber gloves and some rubber bands. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out the rubber bands and a pair of those gloves. Oh, I guess there was a plastic drop cloth too, but I already had some large plastic bags that I used to cover the table. So I'm not coloring just yet, so I'll wait on the gloves. This is going to be a little bit hard to work with. But I really kind of, I was trying to get the effect of having it go both ways, um, stripes going up and down. So I'm trying to figure out if there's a better way to do this. Um, maybe it's not going to be anything like I was thinking in my mind. Um, but like I said, I already started it this way. So let's just go ahead and see what we can come up with. So what you're going to do is after you bunch up your fabric, you can swirl it, you can bunch it, you can do whatever you like, but you're going to put the rubber bands on there. And you're just going to make little sections as big or as small as you like. Um, the color selection is totally up to you and I have a ton of colors to choose from. I'm just going to go ahead and do my own thing and see kind of what happens with this. Um, like I said, it could come out to be a complete and total mess. But, like I said, I like to try things differently. Um, see where things go from there. I don't know how important it is to keep the rubber band straight, but I'm going to go ahead and do the best that I can. And I'm just going to continue with the rubber bands all the way through the fabric. And then I think I'm still going to try to do it the opposite direction as well and see kind of what happens with that because I kind of wanted um, more or less like a 
stripey, almost checkerboardy type of effect. Um, don't know if that's going to work. I haven't watched any videos. Um, just kind of winging it here. So, so far, the entire t-shirt is wrapped into one big, long bundle. Now, I'm not really sure. Um, hmm. Sorry, guys, I'm thinking, but you know what? Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to do anything else. Maybe it's fine just the way it is. Um... Maybe I'll try doing it like that and just see what I come up with. Now, I'm still unsure of the colors because, you know, I love all colors, so I'm really not sure exactly what I want it to look like. But, hey, practice makes perfect, so we're just going to throw some color on there, see what happens when it turns out in the end. Um, I was originally going to do, like, blue and greens and purples, but I think I want to kind of add... Maybe some yellow and pink to that as well. I got sunflower and goldfish and lemon citron. I think I'm going to go with the sunflower, but I don't, I wish I had a softer yellow. I kind of wanted more of a pale yellow. Um, maybe I'll add a little bit of that. And bubble gum. That is supposed to be the lighter pink. So maybe they'll fade out a little bit when I'm done. Um, let's see. What other colors did I want to use? Should I go to... Maybe a pansy. That looks like a really pretty purple. I just have to find which one it is because they all are a little darker than... Here's the pansy purple. And then I think I want to use an aqua. Because I love aqua. It looks really pretty. And of course, that's the one that's leaking. And some type of green. And I'm kind of digging this grass over here. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a little bit of everything. Maybe that's too much for this design. I really don't know. And that's the lime. Here is the grass. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go with those five colors, um, kind of mix them up. And I don't think I'm going to get the effect that I was looking for, but at the same time, I'm just going to go ahead and see what happens. So um, I'm not going to put it in the container just yet. Um, I might not put it in the container at all. I really don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and just start doing my thing. And I don't really think I want um, yellow at the collar because the top is the collar of the shirt. And of course, i got to open all of these, which I should have done before I started the video. But let's just go ahead and make it work, guys. already see I'm going to need some paper towels over here because I'm getting it on my finger, popping the um, bottle open. And of course I go, there they are. So let's just get right on to it. We're just going to start soaking this baby up. Why do I still have something right there? There is the cap in here. Of course there would be. Give me just a second. All right, you guys, hold on just a minute. Okay, so I had to stop the video because the caps were giving me a little bit of hard time. I had to pop them open, and then they had another layer that was covering the hole. So I thought to save some time, I would go ahead and do that off camera. Now you're supposed to shake them off. These ones are already pre-mixed dyes, so I don't have to add any water or anything to them. So like I was saying before, I'm going to start off with the pink. Um, I think that 
I'd rather start off with the pink because I think the color of it would be a little bit prettier in pink. I love pink. So, um, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm not even going to do every section of the lines. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and use that little bit that I spilled to soak up that excess. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit of space and I'm going to add the next color. And once again, I'm going to rub that in a little bit to soak up the excess. Give it a little space, leaving some of that white to show. I think I'm going to do each color twice. That's kind of how um, I'm going to go ahead and go about this. I don't know how well you guys could see this. Um, I know the camera is not exactly right on top of there, so um, bear with me. I'll show you the best I can. So now I got all five colors. Now I think with these, I'm just going to go a little bit of a thinner stripe, just so I can get all five colors if possible. And I already got a little bit of green in my pink, which is okay, I'm not worried about that. And I don't know that I'm going to get all of them, but gonna go ahead and try and now my end is kind of ruffled out so I'm gonna push it together and back and forth and I guess I will just put a tiny bit of green on that little end of it Not a whole lot, just enough to give it a bit of an accent. So, I got all of my colors. Don't know how well you guys can see that. There we go. Now, we're going to carefully flip it. We don't want to mix the colors much more than um, I already have. Um, I, I just got a little bit of the green in the pink section, but I think it's going to be okay. I don't want to move it too much around because then the colors are going to mix on me. And I'm not exactly doing a mixed shirt here. Um, I want to have the different colors. So this side is pretty well um, colored already. I'm just going to go ahead and add a tiny bit more give it a little bit more. I don't think it needs a whole lot. But actually, I think it's going to come out really pretty. At least I hope it does. Let me know if you guys ever did tie-dyes before. Now my plan was actually to do tie-dyes, um, I'm going to do a headband in the same colors um, after I do this, um, just so I got a matching headband to go with it, I thought that would be really cute. Um, and I also got some plain um, bandanas, some white ones that I thought would be really cute to tie-dye. Um, my son likes to wear bandanas, bandana, so um, I thought maybe I can make him a shirt and a matching bandana to go with it. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then I got some tote bags, and I thought those would be really cute as well. So, we're just going to see how everything goes. So far, so good. more colors and this 
part of it will be done. Don't need much on the end because it soaked through pretty well. And I do still want a little bit of that white to show in there. So that is it. I'm going to go ahead and pause this again and I'll show you a little bit closer up what I just did. Okay, so here's my shirt. There's the top of it. Got the little bit of white in between. And there is the end of it. So we're going to go ahead. It's got to dry before I can do anything else with it. And I will come back and let you guys know how it went. Okay, now I'm going to do one of these versatile headbands. Um, they kind of scrunch up. You can wear them in multiple different ways. This was actually what I was wearing as a mask. Um, at my job, I had to wear masks still. So um, instead of wearing like the medical mask or any of the other face masks, I would just wear the scarf instead because it was so much easier for me to deal with um, with my job. So I'm going to do the same thing and I'm just going to kind of pleat it like a, like a fold out fan, um, you know, like a paper hand fan. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that so it looks like that. Same way that I did the t-shirt. And I'm going to put multiple rubber bands throughout. Um, this is pretty thin so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around twice. And I don't know how many I'm going to use. I'm just going to keep on doing it until I get throughout the scarf. And I just wanted it to kind of match the t-shirt. I thought that would be pretty cool. Now, when you're doing tie-dye, I don't think any of this has to be perfect. Everything is a preference. Um, everything is kind of, um, you know, learn as you go. You kind of... Um, figure out what works and what doesn't as you experiment with it. So um, that's basically what I'm doing here. We're just going to see what happens. I am kind of undoing my pleat by double rubber banding this so I can hold it in place. So let me go ahead and see if I could pleat that back up a little bit again just so we kind of keep the same design, even though I don't think it really matters, to be honest. Um, but just for the sake of having it be similar, I'm going to go ahead and do it. See, these are really fun projects that you can do something you can do at home with your kids and like I said at that price if the Michael still has them I mean they're really cheap right now so yeah so I have one big rubber banded bandana so let's go ahead and do the same exact thing that we did the first time I want my ends to be almost completely covered um, just because I think that would be cool. I don't think it really makes a difference. Same color, same pattern, just going to go all the way throughout until the entire thing has all of the cover colors on it. I think I did a little bit too much purple there, but that's okay. And, you know, I'm going to try later on with blending different colors and see how that works out. And once again, I do not think that I'm going to get, I'm going to probably have to thin it out a little on the last couple because I did really big sections on here. So I'm just going to do a little stripe of each one, which is kind of hard to do when you're pouring these out. I guess that's why some people use little squirt bottles and I think, nope, I'm doing the right color. A little bit of blue. And then the 
touch of melanin. And once again, we're going to go ahead and flip that over as carefully as we can so we're not too much mixing the colors unless that's how you want it. I don't think I need too much more pink there, but I do need a little bit right there. little bit of yellow on this end and some over here to balance it out some more purple a little bit blue and that last green so and I just splash a little bit of green on the pink again, which I'm not too worried about. But, let's see, I don't want to mix up too much if I can help it, but this is what it looks like. So, that is all of the colors. And I'm going to go ahead and come back after it's all said and done. I'm going to go to the next step. I'll show you. Um, where we're at okay so I'm doing another tie-dye and um, I got my t-shirt laid out I just have it flat at the table this time I'm gonna go ahead and do like the spiral and um, for this you're just gonna take and pinch a point of the t-shirt now if you want the spiral in the middle you're gonna do the middle of the t-shirt but I think I'm gonna do this one kind of up at the top shoulder and you're just gonna go ahead and take the fabric and you're just gonna pinwheel it all the way around. And you're just gonna make it where you continue to pinwheel the entire shirt. Now, whether or not I'm doing it perfectly, I don't know. And I'm kind of thinking I'm bunching it up a little bit much, but we're just gonna go ahead and continue to pinwheel it. And hopefully at the end of it all, it will come out looking good. And you just twist it all the way until your entire t-shirt is in a complete circle. And then you're going to take your rubber bands and you're just going to go around the shirt. So you're going to put it on each section um, kind of like a pizza slice to hold everything into place. Now, I don't think mine is going to be very perfect because it's already kind of bunchy, but that is perfectly okay with me. I think all of the colors are going to be fun regardless of that. So you're just taking it and you're wrapping your rubber bands like a pizza slice or like you slice a pie. And that just holds everything together in place. Now for this one, I decided to use all blues and greens. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start out with key lime. And now I, well, no, I'll go ahead and do it right here. But you're just going to go from the center of the shirt. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not open these. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, I got them all open. So we are going to go ahead and start with key lime and you're going to go from the center of the tie dye shirt to the outer edge. And since I'm going to use four colors, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I get about a quarter section. Um, once again, I'm going to leave a little bit of white in here because I think, well, actually, I think the point of doing a tie dye is because you will have white when it's all said and done. So. I need to put a little more. Um, so I did the key lime. Now I'm going to use the grass. That is my next color.
Then I'm going to go ahead and use my ocean blue and denim. So greens and blues, which I absolutely love. Denim blue. Okay, and I have a lot on the table, so I'm just going to go ahead and soak up some of that excess. And now I'm going to move it to a whole nother spot. Now this is what it's looking like right there. I got all of the colors in there, and I'm going to place it on a different spot so I don't get too much mixing of the colors and do the same thing on the opposite end of it. So there is my key lime, my grass green, my ocean blue, And my denim so now after this it says that you are supposed to let it sit overnight and let it dry um, after it dries out you're gonna take the rubber bands out let it dry some more and then we're gonna throw it in a dryer and um, I will come back for all of those steps and show you guys how everything goes hopefully all goes well uh, thanks for watching this part of it I'll be back soon bye Okay, so to go with my blue and green tie-dye spiral shirt, I got these plain white bandanas, and I wanted to make a matching bandana to go with that. So once again, I'm going to take and pinch it up and just keep on twisting it around and around and around. Um, I think I'm supposed to keep these sections a little bit more straight. Like I said, I'm just really... Um, Doing what I do, I guess if I made it too perfect, it wouldn't match the shirt because I kind of bunched that up terribly. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and stick my rubber bands on there. And I'm going to do the same exact thing with that so it comes out to look like this. I'm going to dye both sides of it. I'm going to do it the exact same way that I did the other one where I start off with the lime green. And I'm gonna use my grass green again. I'm gonna use the ocean blue. And last but not least, our denim. Move it in a different spot so we don't bleed all over the other colors and do the same. So I'm really excited. I can't wait till tomorrow so I can see what these things are going to look like. I think they're going to come out really cool, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I will show you guys when I come back. And you guys take care.